What are you saying, ladies and gents? It is your boy back at Sam, and yes, we are back again today for another video. Today's video, I'm doing my match week 44 championship predictions. There are some absolutely cracking fixtures, so let's get right into it. So our first game of the game week, it is Huddersfield hosting Barnsley. And this is a huge game for Barnsley. Barnsley mathematically still can stay up. Yes, they're rock bottom. But let's be honest, it's not going to happen without a win in five. And they're coming against third place Huddersfield, who have won three in their last four games and unbeaten in their last four. It's a pretty good form that Huddersfield is showing. And the thing is, yes, they've already made the playoffs. But the thing is, they're going to want to take that momentum and the run they've been going all the way to the end because they need the form for the playoffs because playoffs is all down to form and momentum. So it's huge for them, this game. Huge game for both sides. Barnsley are going to really go for it, but they haven't really got the firepower. And it's been a pretty a pretty poor season for them. And I think a lot of people will be disappointed, especially Barnsley fans. It's simply not good enough. Really, really not good enough. When you look at the likes of the other sides that have been around, Derby at the points deduction, and they're just rock bottom. It's simply not been good enough. Only six wins all season. Very, very poor season that they're going to want to have over already and they're going to want to rebuild for League One and try and bounce back as fast as possible. But I'm going to go for a Huddersfield 2-0 home win. Now on to the next game, Luton hosting Blackpool. And this is similar to what I said before about the form side. Luton are going to want to carry on this form. They've got two wins on the bounce and they're going to want to keep that going for the playoffs in mind. And they're coming up against the Blackpool side. who are 16th in the league with one win in the last five games. And that was a very good win. They're unlucky to not get a result against West Brom the week before, but they got that win that they desperately needed. They've had a pretty solid season. I think Neil Critchley's men, they're, they're in, whatever they do now from, from now on is a great achievement because a lot of people had them to get relegated. I said mid-table, so I want them to stay around this kind of range so I look good. But I think it's going to be a really interesting game. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Luton home win. 19th place Hull host 21st place Reading and both of these sides really I think we can safely say are safe. Two sides that earlier on in the season looked at this game and thought this will be huge towards the end of the season but Reading under Paul Ince have been pretty solid let's be honest some really good results only losing one in the last five games whereas Hull they've won two in the last five. Two sides that a bit, had a pretty mediocre season. They're going to want to get the season over and done with. It's pretty similar. They're going to want to move on to next season. I think it's going to be a dull 1-1 draw. Sixth place, Sheffield United host Cardiff. And Cardiff, as I said, have been a really, really we had a real stinker this season. They come against the Sheffield United side, which form has fallen off a cliff with a, without a win now in four. It's not good enough, really, is it? Let's be honest. Sheffield United need to be in around the playoffs. Keep pushing, keep going, because at the moment they're in there. But whether they stay in there, who knows? They need to get results thick and fast. And Cardiff are not an easy side to play. Even though they've not had a great season, they're still a nasty side to play. It's got some really good players. I think this is going to be another draw here. I'm going to go for another 1-1. Now into our next game, Stoke hosting QPR. Two sides, which at one point looked like they were going to get the playoffs. But Stoke had that real dip in form. But three wins in the last five is a good resurgence. Whereas QPR really, really fell off. They were nailed on potentially at one point looking at automatics. And it's just all gone down here from there. They got one win though last week. But before that, they've got three losses in the last four. They could potentially still push for the playoffs, but I still think it's out of reach now. I think the thing is now they've got to rely on other sides to lose. But I'm going to go here for a 2-1 Stoke home win. Now on to our next game, Swansea hosting Middlesbrough. Two sides that are on the opposite end of the spectrum for form with Middlesbrough losing three of the last four games is simply really not good enough for Chris Wilder's men. Whereas Swansea, are unbeaten in the last five with three wins in that time. Swansea looking like a really, really good side, playing some really nice football. They're a side to watch out potentially for next season if they can carry on this form. They're going to want to keep keep progressing up the table because they, they could potentially easily make that top half of the table, whereas Middlesbrough need to get playoffs. But I do think the form is going to, is going to keep up in this. I'm going to go for a Swansea 2-0 home win. Now on to the next game, West Brom versus Coventry. Two sides that are only split by two points. If West Brom win this, they leapfrog Coventry. Coventry, who at one point looked like, again, they were nailed on for the playoffs, but the, the, the form suggests recently it's just not been good enough. Yes, they, they've had a really good stint, but to be fair, when you look at the squad, the fact that they're at this stage and could even, Mark Robbins may could have been making playoffs, I think is a great achievement. Got some very, very good players. They come against the West Brom side, which are just really, really, really inconsistent. Three losses in the last five games. Steve Bruce looking like he's not going to keep the job. And I think West Brom fans, including myself being a West Brom fan, just want the season over, let's be honest. It's just simply not been good enough. And hopefully we can get a result here, which um, at home against Coventry, which is what we did in the away game. We didn't deservedly win that game. Hopefully we'll do the same, but I do think this is going to be a draw here. I'm going to go for 
1-1. Birmingham City host Millwall now and Birmingham City coming off the back of that 6-1 loss on Bank Holiday against um, Blackpool and that result was just awful. The fans, the players simply isn't good enough. Boya looking like he's potentially on the brink of being sacked. Can he turn it around? Well, it doesn't look like that dressing room really wants him there so I don't think they will do. I think Millwall are going to win here. Could their playoff dream still be alive? Well, with wins like that they can only hope so. I'm going to go for a 3-0 Millwall away win. Now to the top two, Bournemouth versus Fulham and this game, the two powerhouses of the league, the two best squads in the league, the two best performers. Yes, both have had moments where could it have been on Fulham? Not so much. Fulham, obviously, who are already promoted, whereas Bournemouth have have had some really iffy moments. Scott Parker's men have been quite inconsistent, but consistent in the fact that they've stayed at the top. I'm saying inconsistent in performances. I think, will Fulham carry on their form? Probably, because when you've got Mitrovic on that side, no matter whether they know they're promoted or not, whether they're on holiday, they still will most likely get the win here when you've got players like Mitrovic. But then Solanke, it's going to be an interesting one. I watched this one earlier on in the season, did a watch long. A really, really good game. And I think it was Bournemouth who scored the goal fast straight away from half-time kickoff. But for this game, I'm going to go for a... 1-1 one, one draw. Really interesting fixture now. Nottingham Forest against Peterborough. Peterborough, who are down at the bottom, but they're unbeaten in the last four games. That push to stay up. It could actually happen. Realistically, I don't think it will do. I think this is going to be the nail in the coffin for them because they're coming against a Steve Cooper side, which have just been absolutely amazing. Absolutely blew West Brom apart with that 4-0 win. With four wins in the last five games, it looks like playoffs is on. And as I said earlier, I keep going back to it. Momentum is key in these kind of games. So it's going to be a really interesting one. I'm going to go for a Nottingham Forest 2-0 win. Now to Derby County, a lot of unrest at the club uh, with Wayne Rooney still at the helm. And sadly, they did get relegated. There's point deductions and throughout the season, just it's just been a really difficult season for Derby. Without those points deductions, they would have stayed up in 17th position. They're coming against 18th in the league in Bristol City. Bristol City have had a really iffy season. A side that are very inconsistent. I watch them for some weeks and think, okay, it looks like they're going to turn around their form. And then next week, it's just in the gutter. Well, they're only lo- they've only lost one in their last five games. I think they're just going to about edge this one. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Bristol City away win. And now on to our final game of the game week. It is Blackburn versus Preston and Blackburn's form has just fallen off a cliff. Tony Murphy's men, what on earth has gone on there? At a time when they were on up for automatics, they went second in the league earlier on in the season and they've without a win in the last five games. It's just simply not good enough. Really, really not good enough. I went to watch them play against Coventry earlier on in the season when they threw away that potential three points they could have had. Will they make the playoffs? It's not looking likely with their form, but they've still got world beaters. They've still got some interesting players. But Preston, again, one of those sides which they're really difficult to, when you analyse them, when you watch them. I saw them absolutely batter West Brom earlier on the season. Yes, I know it's West Brom, but you know they have got some players there. There are some players that can turn it on, switch it on in the big moments. I think it's going to be a really interesting one, but I do think Blackburn are going to get this win because they are desperate for a win to make that playoff spot. I'm going to go for a 2-1. Blackburn win. And that is it for my championship predictions for the game week 44. But for that, guys, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know your thoughts, comment your predictions below, who you support and everything. I want to hear everyone's thoughts. We're building a really nice community on here. And thank you guys again for helping me hit 2K subscribers. More content will be coming your way throughout the week. Lots of predictions and I'm absolutely buzzing. Buzzing. It's just a shame it's nearly all over. But as I said, thank you guys for watching. Book out Sam over and out. Thank you. Goodbye.